What up, world? We back, man, with another video. Welcome to Living H-Way, Living H-Way. And today, we uh, picked up a few new items. Getting ready for the travel ball season. Uh, playing 14U this year, so. We getting ready for the fall ball season for travel ball. So I had to do a little upgrade, man. Let me show y'all a little bit what we got, and we gonna try to put this stuff together. But, uh, Picked up a new wagon, man. Equalizer, number one show on TV. Are y'all ready? Because I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? Huh? Yeah, that's hooked up to the TV. Bluetooth. I'll teach y'all how to do that in another video. But anyway, what we're here for today is new wagon. As you can see, it's the old wagon. And this is up to the new wagon. I used to have a tent, three to four chairs. Cooler, all that in here, the tent stuffed on top and just trying to balance it. We did that for the last two, three years. So I like this year. Let me try this extra large. This is what we got, the Academy. Extra large, multi wagon. Y'all yeah, see it? Multi-purpose wagon. Holds up to 225 pounds. max bed load and uh max tailgate weight is 33 pounds so l cannot sit on the tailgate she's 50. but yeah comes with a little built-in cooler check it out man come with a little built-in cooler man you can set it up like that and you don't have to open the whole thing you can just Go in right here and get you a little drink out. Close it back up. Two cup holders. Full handle with adjustable handle. God damn, that did about taller than me. Yeah, I can't do that with both one hand. We got the big boy wheels on it. Forge Auto 26s. Compared to these, look tin, but we kept them clean. <laughs> As you can see, the inside of the old wagon, it can also came with two cup holders. Still in good use. We still gonna use it. My wife might use it at work or something. Compared to the deep, deep, deep well on the new wagon. On the extra large. It's an academy. But yeah. That's what we got with, man. Here go the instructions. Then when I need them, just pull it out. And out here we have the new 10x10 Academy. One easy push up tent. This is the old Quest tent we had. I like this tent because it was very easy to put up. You just push the middle up and the whole tent pop out. But we had this tent about three years maybe. This kind of wore out on us. Last tournament we was at, it started to rain. And um, it was just like we didn't have a tent. So I was trying to buy a new top for the tent, but the Quest top cost about eight dollars or something like that and we got this whole new tent for a hundred so it just made more sense to get a new tent we'll just keep these for the backyard my son doing drills he can put the tent up and won't burn up oh look who just decided to visit us so you were next door what's going on why damn bed i gotta put something on that Tell you two, hey. Hi. All right. Well, Dad. Hmm. I want some grilled cheese. You ready to eat? Yeah. All right, let's go eat. All right, we back, man. I had to take care of that. She wanted her little chipotle. But uh, yeah, we back, man, and we about to uh, put together this new academy one touch pop up tent. That's the Quest one touch, and it's the academy. I'm gonna go over some differences. Maybe. I like the Quest. I got to see how this one works. I'm not sure if I'm going to like this one or not, but let me try to put this top on. 
and we'll get back at y'all. They say it take two people, but we live in H way, so I'm gonna do it H way. Got my instructions here. Okay, they're gonna stay there. All right, let's try to put this top on. Velcro on the inside, just put it on the edge. As you can see, the end got Velcro on. So we're just gonna stick the Velcro on there like that. And that's what we're doing. Sports Academy, not paying me. Okay, under the tent we have good little frame, man. Damn, I'm spinning like a. And this is the one push knob. Now, I gotta go back to to the instruction to figure out how to let this motherfucker down. All right, we'll look at that later. But uh, here go y'all a good little view of the tent, man. It was just that simple. You just pull it out, push that up, and pop it. But yeah, that was pretty simple. Now let's go over here to the Quest, man, my old tent. It was pretty much sim simple too. But uh, pretty much the same way. We just went up under here. Same little mechanism. I'm gonna do this with my hand. My bad. Now y'all really see how simple that is because I'm doing this with one hand and holding the camera. Okay, I can fuck this one up. It ain't even lined up. Okay, let me make sure everything ain't sticking. Nah. Okay, so you just push straight up and that's locked. See, but with this one, it has a level. That one has a level that we could just unhook it like that. It's simple. Let's go see. Let's go see what, uh, how you let this one down. You are already getting used to the way. <laughs> Let me take this thing down. This one? Step two. Pull. Goodbye, Daddy. You gonna go? Yeah. 
Alright. Okay, pull down one push handle to release and collapse the frame. It just say pull down. Let's see if that works. So it's saying just pull this down to release and unlock the frame. I don't see no frame unlocking. Oh, shit. Yeah. So you just pull it down to release and unlock the frame. That's, that's in there. Okay, yeah, so we have to watch. We'll see how long this tent lasts. Warning sign. For those of you who need a warning. Not says I. Some of the immediate differences I see that I might like about this tent. It has drainage holes. The other tent does not have drainage holes. So that's a big plus. I'm liking that part already. Cause after a while, it get to sagging right here. And when it did rain, last time we had used this tent and it rained on us, we had a puddle of water just sitting like this. With those drainage holes, that will help. Man, they thought of something then. But yeah, this is the old tent, man. Made by Quest. Pretty decent tent. Frame still in good condition. Just need a new top, which we'll find somewhere one day. And it's the Sports Academy edition. And this is a, uh, this is the old Sports Academy too, yeah. That's a 12 though, 12 by 12. Slant leg, I don't really like the slant legs. I like the straight legs. You get your full coverage. All right, man. Guess he finna go. Right on. Idiot. Oh. Trying to show out is when you fall and skin yourself up. That's my wife with the red chair. She not following the color code that I set. But uh, yeah, I got the black chair, man. Director, director cut with the table on the side. I also got my black rocker chair in there. Something like that with the little rocker pumps on the bottom. But yeah, the tent also came with a nice little bag, man, with the rollers on it. Pretty sure y'all know that already, but pretty good bag, man. The Sports Academy, uh, pop-up tent canopy tent so get an a for me we'll see man i think i think them drain holes gonna gonna do it for me because that's what killed our tent over there i saw your frame kind of jacked up i said the frame was in good condition it is but it ain't it ain't gonna fall but it, it's a little see how that hump right there yeah she got a friend playing with her but yeah, the frame, man, a little bit out of shape. I guess it was time for another. It bent up over there and bent down right here. Yeah. So I guess it was a good decision to buy another tent. I'm glad that top was higher. Because I just would have put another top on that thing. Oh yeah, man, it's Sunday, I'm about to watch a little football, chill out. Patio need cleaning off, I got a bunch of crap everywhere. But hey, we live in age way this is it, real life stuff. What are they doing right now? Gonna be some bugs or something on it. But yeah, living this way, man. We get back at y'all another one. Here we have the tent and back in the bag. Another plus that I see from the Quest tent is that 
I know everybody that own a tent, you have to pull it down, you know, from the top you be trying to stuff it in that bag. See, this one, the bag zips all the way down. So it's a different type of pudding. You just lay it down and lay it in the bag and stuff it in a different type of way. It's still a stuff, but it was a little better than, well, I don't know. I used to just pull it down from the top and it was pretty simple. But uh, yeah. Got wheels, it's a $99 bag. They have a $50 uh, canopy tent, but $99 tent, I mean, not bad, but the $50 tent probably is the same old where you just pull it down from the top and it's slant leg and all that. Also got straps, where you can kind of put that in there, and hold it tight. So the bag won't be stretched all over. This might last, man. They, they thought of some stuff. Damn, I'm all out the way here, man. This might last, we'll see. We'll see. And I also got instructions on the side too, just in case y'all throw these away like I'm finna do. And it came with some, uh, String, tie down strings. I like turn in the shoelaces, them dope. <laughs> H way, baby. Hold the spikes. Well, yeah, man, we signing out. I'm gonna pack all this stuff up, go in the house, take a shower, and that's it for me. TV and froze out here. Living H way. Yeah, don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share, man. Join the H-Way family and ride with us. We just enjoying our little life we do have. We trying to change it and elevate. And this is one step towards that. So let's go, man. H-Way family, live in H-Way. Catch y'all in the next video. Oh, let me get out the sun. Catch y'all in the next video.